The Brazilian Space Program refers to the rocketry and space exploration programs conducted by Brazil from 1961 until the creation of the Brazilian Space Agency in 1994. It had significant capabilities in launch vehicles, launch sites, and satellite manufacturing. It was based at the National Institute for Space Research under the Ministry of Science and Technology The program was under complete military control, which hindered its development, as other countries such as the United States blocked technological development due to concerns over nuclear proliferation. In 1994, the space program was transferred to civilian control under the Brazilian Space Agency. History In an attempt to build a satellite launch vehicle Veículo Lancador de Satellite VLS, Brazil has since 1964 developed a series of sounding research rockets, named Sonda I, II, III, and IV. The early Sondas were test-launched from Barrera do Inferno Launch Center, near the city of Natal in the northeast region. The Sonda IV rocket was tested successfully on April 28, 1989. Subsequent launches were made from the Alcantara Launch Center, Centro de Lancamento de Alcantara CLA, in Maranhão, President José Sarni's home state. The CLA, officially dedicated on February 21, 1990, cost more than $470 million to develop. It is the closest launch center to the equator in the world, 2.3 degrees south of the equator, making it attractive for launches of geostationary satellites. For example, because it is so close to the equator it provides a 25% fuel savings compared with Kennedy Space Center. On February 9, 1993, the first satellite developed entirely in Brazil, the Data Collecting Satellite Satellite de Coleta de Dados SCD-1, was launched. The SCD-1, sometimes referred to as the Green Satellite is used by Brazilian National Institute for Space Research (INPE), Instituto Nacional de Pesquisas Espaciais agencies. Both the SCD-1 and the SCD-2, which was launched October 22, 1998, by a Pegasus rocket, a US rocket, to collect environmental data. On July 6, 1988, Brazil signed an agreement with China that calls for the joint development between the INPE and the Chinese Space Agency of two Earth imaging satellites to be launched by a Long March Chinese rocket from the Shaanxi launching site. Known as the China-Brazil Earth Resources Satellite Program Satellite Sino-Brasileiro de Recursos Terrestres CBERS, the high-resolution CBERS will collect data from the entire planet and will be used for agriculture, geology, hydrology, and the environment. The Sino-Brazilian Agreement was inactive from 1988 through 1991 because of Brazil's lack of funds. In October 1991 and November 1994, Brazil and China signed an additional agreements for the construction of the satellites, worth $150 million. The CBERS-1 was scheduled to be launched in May 1997. Embratel, a formerly state-controlled communications company in charge of the Brazilian Satellite Communication System Sistema Brasileiro de Comunicação por Satellites SBTS, owns and operates a series of satellites that are positioned in geostationary orbit over the equator. Arianespace, a French space and defence partner of France's Aerospatial Group, launched the first two Brazilsat satellites in February 1985 and March 1986. 
Until 1994 the military directed most of the space program through the Ministry of Aeronautics, which is in charge of the CTA. Created in 1950, the CTA is involved in research and development for the aerospace programs of the FAB Brazilian Air Force. In 1965 the FAB created the Space Activities Center Instituto de Atividades Espaciais, IAE, one of several institutes within the CTA, to develop rockets. Since its creation, the IAE has tested more than 2,000 rockets. In 1971, a joint civilian military committee, the Brazilian Commission for Space Activities, Comissão Brasileira de Atividades Espaciais Cobe, was established and placed under the CSN, National Security Council. Kobe was chaired by the head of the Armed Forces General Staff, Estado Maior das Forças Armadas. EMFA and was in charge of the complete Brazilian space mission Missão Espacial Completa Brasileira MECB The MECB was created in 1981 to coordinate launch vehicles launch sites and the manufacturing of satellites On the civilian side the MECB is headed by the INPE Established in 1971, the INPE replaced the National Commission for Space Activities Comissão Nacional de Atividades Espaciais CNAE. The INPE is subordinate to the Ministry of Science and Technology and roughly the CDA's counterpart. The INPE develops satellites and conducts space and meteorological research. It has also been developing engines using liquid propellants since 1988, but with mixed results. Within Brazil's MECB, civilians have been primarily responsible for satellite production, and the armed forces have been in charge of developing launch pads and rockets. Despite this division of labor, the armed forces were the dominant actors in the MECB, at least through 1993. Military officers occupied most of the high-ranking positions in the MECB. <laughs> Brazilian Space Agency In an attempt to place the MECB more firmly in the hands of civilians, Brazil's President Itamar Franco signed a bill on February 10, 1994, creating the Brazilian Space Agency Agencia Espacial Brasileira AEB. The AEB replaced COBE, which acted merely as an advisory body and had no staff. The AEB, a semi-autonomous agency, has its own staff and responsibilities for policy implementation. It is led by a civilian, who is under the direct control of the president. The AEB oversees the MECB, but the Ministry of Aeronautics is still in charge of launch facilities and launch vehicles, and the INPE continues to direct the development of satellites. It remains to be seen, therefore, whether the AEB can effectively oversee the various ministries involved in the MECB. The AEB was created in part to deflect criticism from the United States government, which viewed with alarm the involvement of Brazil's military in the MECB. The United States played a central role in the development of Brazil's MECB, beginning with its financial and technological support for the CTA and the INPE. In 1966 the United States supplied sounding rockets, which were launched subsequently by Brazil. Based on that technology, Brazil later developed larger boosters of its own. The ties between Brazil and the United States were generally along functional lines within the two governments. 
The United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA worked with the INPE, sharing data, helping to develop and implement scientific experiments, and training the Institute's technicians and scientists. Likewise, the United States Air Force worked with Brazil's Ministry of Aeronautics and established a number of data exchange agreements with the CTA that covered such matters as weather forecasting. Brazil no longer relies as heavily on the United States for space technology. In 1981 it unveiled the MECB, an ambitious $1 billion program with the aim of attaining self-sufficiency in space technology. At that time, Brazil committed itself to launching a series of four Brazilian-made satellites two for weather forecasting and two for terrain photography from Alcântara. In further moves away from dependence on the United States, in the 1980s Brazil took steps to become self-sufficient in the production of ammonium perchlorate, an oxidizer for solid fuels. In addition to its indigenous research and development, Brazil now cooperates in its space program with Canada, the European Space Agency ESA, Russia, France, and especially China. One joint satellite project with China is the China-Brazil Earth Resources Satellite. Brazil is also seeking space cooperation with new partners, such as Israel. In the mid-1980s through the early 1990s, many United States policy makers were concerned with Brazil's MECB because of the possibility of diverting space launch technology to a ballistic missile program. Although by mid-1997 Brazil had not produced a ballistic missile, its military had given high priority to the development of several missile systems, including the Piranha missile Ma Brazil's space launch program, coupled with its artillery rocket technology, suggests that the country has the potential to develop advanced missiles, including ballistic missiles. From 1987 to 1994, the United States sought to stifle the development of Brazil's ballistic missile program through the Missile Technology Control Regime (MTCR). See glossary, formed on April 16, 1987. Given Brazil's advanced nuclear program, the United States was especially concerned that a potential Brazilian ballistic missile could eventually serve as a vehicle for a nuclear warhead. The United States' restrictions on space technology to Brazil stalled Brazil's VLS satellite launch vehicle program and ballistic missile research and development, strained United States' security relations with Brazil, and prompted Brazil to explore closer ties with China, Russia, and various countries in Europe and the Middle East especially Iraq. In October 1995, for example, Brazil offered Russia the use of its Alcantara base, to launch rockets. On February 11, 1994, Brazil announced that it would comply with MTCR guidelines. Such compliance would include export controls on Brazilian space and missile goods and technology. Brazil's accession to the MTCR coincided with various attempts by the United States to cooperate in space activities and seemed to signal a new era in space relations. Brazil's application for MTCR membership was accepted in October 1995. Thus, by the end of 1995 Brazil's space capabilities were improving, although they were modest by the standards of countries such as the United States and Russia. <laughs> Brazilian launch record The 28th of April 97 VS30 XV01 DLR L versus 30 to 223. The 2nd of November 97 VLS1F1SCD2A. 
the 15th of March 99 VS 30 XV04 San Marcos the 11th of December 99 VLS 1 F2 SACI 2 the 6th of February 00 versus 30 XV05 Lensois Marinhenses the 21st of August 00 versus 30 Orion XV01 Baronessa the 9th of December 00 Sonda 3 XV30 Alacrim Paseo the 12th of May 02 Sonda 3 XV31 Parnamaram F2 Glow 2 the 23rd of November 02 versus 30 Orion XV02 Piraparna. The 1st of December 02 versus 30 XV06 Kuma. The 22nd of August 03 VLS 1F3 SATEC Unosat exploded during tests. The 24th of October 04 VSB 30 XV01 launch test. The 19th of July 07 VSB 30 V04 Kuma 2. The 16th of December 07 versus 30 V07 Angicos GPS technology mission. The 27th of October 08 improved Orion. The 29th of May 09 Orion Maracati 1. The 10th of August 09 FTBF 1 test. The 13th of August 09 FTBF 2 test. The 20th of October 09 FTBF 3 test. The 21st of October 09 FTBF 4 test. The 25th of February 10 FTBF 5 test. The 27th of April 10 FTBF 6 test. The 29th of April 10 FTBF 7 test. The 26th of July 10 FTBF 8 test. The 3rd of August 10 FTIF 1 test. The 20th of September 10 FTBF 9 test. The 30th of September 10 FTIF 2 test. The 6th of December 10 Orion Maracati 2. The 12th of December 10 VSB 30 V07 Micro G1A 242 kilometers altitude. The 27th of April 11 FTBF 10 test. The 11th of May 11 improved Orion microgravity experiments. The 26th of May 11 FTIF 3 test. The 27th of May 11 FTIF 4 test. The 16th of June 11 FTBF 11 test. The 17th of June 11 FTBF 12 test. The 31st of August 11 FTIF 5 test. The 2nd of September 11 FTIF 6 test. The 20th of October 11 FTBF 13 test. The 25th of November 11 improved Orion microgravity experiments. The 2nd of December 11 VS 30 V08 Brazil Alamana microgravity experiments. The 14th of March 12 FTBF 14 test. The 29th of March 12 FTBF 15 test. The 21st of May 12 FTBF 16 test. The 29th of May 12 FTBF 17 test. The 21st of June 12 FTBF 18 test. The 8th of August 12 FTBF 19 test. The 19th of September 12 FTBF 20 test. The 27th of September 12 FTBF 21 Opera Cow Falcao V 31.742 kilometers alt. The 7th of November 12 FTBF 22 test. The 8th of December 12 VS 30 IOV 10 Iguaiba ionosphere. The 23rd of May 13 FTB Opera Cow Falcao I. 
the 13th of June 13 FTIF8 test 52.6 kilometers alt the 8th of August 13 FTB Operacao Falcao 2 the 12th of March 14 FTB AVIBRAS 32 04 km alt the 9th of May 14 FTB Operacao Aguia I Topic: Brazilian satellites. Brazilsat B1 coverage. Brazilsat B2 coverage. Brazilsat B3 coverage. Brazilsat B4 coverage. Brazilsat A2 USA coverage. Star 1C1, launched on November 14, 2007, Ban C coverage, Ban Ku coverage, Ban Ku coverage, Mercosul See also Brazilian General Command for Aerospace Technology Brazilian Space Agency